Okay, so I, I, I'm a black person. My skin color is what is considered black in America. Uh, I just like to tell people, though, that I am not a black person. I'm an American. And what makes me so strong as an American is that I know my Bill of Rights and my Constitution. Well, I agree with that. So you're, so, so, so you're talking like John Wayne. You're not a hyphenated American. No, exactly. I'm not a hyphenated American. I want people to understand that you got to get away from this identity of being black. I know, but we have to address country. it within the identity politics because that's what they've created. I, I agree with you then. There's, there's positive racism. A lot of people think that all racism is bad. No, there's positive racism. When people have a positive feelings about the color of their skin, they attribute that to... Uh, well, that's culture. Sure, sure. I mean, everybody should be proud of themselves. Dr. Group, you want to... Say anything to this? I mean, the fact that all Americans do is talk about race, we're forced to cover it all day, but it just shows the, the general illiteracy. We know how to obsess on things that don't matter as the world is stolen from us by the globalists. Dr. Group? Well, I mean, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't look at race when I, when I look at Americans because we are a force. I mean, if you're a true American... You know, we're a force that will continue to shake our nation. That's right. We're under attack prevail. because we did have the free market. We did have the guns. We were the best. They've deliberately turned us into a bunch of idiots to take us down. Go ahead, Dr. Group. I'm just saying it's the American lawmakers that need to wake up and speak for the citizens that they represent. I mean, it's, it's almost like who we put in office are, you know, racist against us or something. It's, and, and they need to represent us, not the corporate giants who contributed to their campaign. So it's, you know, we the people, really. I mean, there is no racism in we the people. And if we ever come together around our basic freedoms, like this caller said, so I apologize, caller, I get your point now. Thank you, Dante. And we ever get a stand up for each other's rights, it's game over for the globalists. That's why they divide and conquer. And people say, I'm dividing and conquering when I point out they're shipping millions of radical Islamics in to give them everything free, well, I'm not against those people per se, but they're being brought in to create the class of civilization to then tell Europeans you've got to give your rights up because you're offending the outsider. So I have to oppose the globalist policies because they create the divide and conquer to control us. So we shouldn't allow the climate that, 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 that makes it easier for them.